Hey guys, it's Colin Collie with Studios here. We're here at Great Adventure. Um, it's actually looking like a way more crowded day than I was expecting. We're in preferred though, so we don't have quite a long walk up here, which is good. But I was not anticipating it to be too crowded here today, but looks like that wish will not be granted. Oh well. Um, pretty much here to just get in and see what's up. Uh, from what I've been told, Log Flume has reopened, so definitely gonna cover that for you guys. Looks like there hasn't been much progress inside of Sweet Treats quite yet. But as you can see over there, there is maintenance at Sky Screamer. They were climbing up the tower a little bit, and I see a massive crane in the distance, and I think that could be for Little Devil, so let's go find out. So we're over here by Little Devil now, and as you can see, there is a massive crane. Really big crane, and that's because track has been installed. As you will be able to see when we get a little closer. There it is. That's the lift hill sitting ready to go, and there's a track segment installed over there. So we're over here at Jersey Devil now. Um, over there it does say the ride is closed for the day. And interestingly, it looks like they blocked the little peepholes that I was looking through the other day to see if they were changing the wheel axis. Very interesting. But yeah, Jersey Devil is still closed. Um, not sure how much longer it's gonna take before it is open, but if you do plan on coming to the park, be aware the devil is not in action. So it also looks like when Jersey Devil does reopen, it will probably only be running a limited number of trains, judging off of this sign right here. Be aware. But Luther's incredible intellect makes him just as dangerous. So, just got off Justice League after like a 25 minute wait. It took a little while, but it was pretty good. Got like, I think 240,000. So now we're gonna hit Cyborg. came over here all the way down the boardwalk to ride Green Lantern. And then I saw how long the wait is. No thanks. Here we are in the Golden Kingdom. I have a pretty big feeling that Ka has a long line, so we're gonna hit Zumanjaro first. And as for the Toro situation, I can't see anything right here. I'm sure there's been work done though. On that track segment over there where the train valley is still missing. There are a lot of cars driving around back there, closer to the station of Toro. But yeah, this is, this is gonna be down for a while, I think at least. I wouldn't say it's down for the season quite yet. We have to see how progress progresses on repairing it, but it's not looking too good. So we just finished five rides on Zuma Jaro. We got one full duel and a couple partial duels. It was so fun. This ride is like a must ride now that King Dakar can duel with Zuma Jaro. But dad, how is Zumajaro? Oh, it's, it's wild because you can see the people's faces on cars yep. coming down and coming up. It's just absolutely insane. It's awesome. So I think now we're going to head over to check out Log Flume because it's open now. Over here by the split off for Plaza del Carnival and Frontier Adventures, this building over here finally has a purpose. It's a new Dippin' Dot stand. Just what we need. But it's so cool to see this building finally reopened as a new Dippin' Dot stand. And of course, there's Log Flume finally reopened. Let's go ride it. It's no longer barricaded. It's open. The sawmill's spinning. Here we go. I don't think we're going to wait in this super long line, though. It, yeah, it's all the way back here. Holy crap. Well, people are definitely happy log flumes reopened. Holy crap. That has a full queue. Beyond a full queue. No. Oh, wait, no. no it doesn't. It's just a straight line. It's just a straight, a straight shot. That's not that bad. Eh, right now. I guess we will wait it. We 
just got off of Blossom. It's been a while since I've been on it due to the accident, but we're back on. It was awesome. Um, we were able to get our boats alone, despite the fact that the operators are being a little pushy today. They're not being consistent or considerate, but whatever. We still had a good time. Hopefully we can grab our pictures down here, but that was a lot of fun. Problem solved. This might be either the third or fourth time I've been greeted with this depressing sight. <sighs> I have a feeling it won't be the last. So for the hell of it, we just rode Tango because, you know, the bowl's closed. So we had to get our Plaza del Carnival ride film somehow. So we rode Tango. This might be the smallest ride in the park and I'm shocked it's still here. It's like just a very obscure little ride here, but it was fun. We're back over here by Jersey Devil. We are now joined by Jack. We did absolutely nothing so far, but get our skip the lines and take a look in last drop. Uh, we have skip the lines for Nitro, Ka, and Wonder Woman, so we'll use those up eventually. And yeah, park crowds don't really seem to have died down at all yet, so. We just did Nitro three times, courtesy of flash pass and seat hopping. Um, that was really good. It was flying today, just like Thursday when I was here last. Um, we're obviously now going to go on Congo. Then after that, I'm not sure where we're going. Over at Jersey Devil here, we see that they have bottle holders installed. Great big news, and we also have Tom and James have joined us. What? Yes. You are yes. a moron. I know. <laughs> so we're over here now by Zumanjara. We decided not to go on, but apparently there's a massive segment of track missing from the right side of the t track, the right rail. It goes all the way down there through the turn, it looks like. Somewhere midway through the turn, the track ends. So not only is there one track segment missing, there's this whole massive track segment missing as well. So that definitely makes me believe that this ride's gonna have an even longer downtime. So we just got off of Log Flume. And that might be the most ridiculous ride I've ever gotten on it. I am drenched for the fact that at the bottom of every dip, the water came over the side of the blog and went right on us. I mean, we, <laughs> we got we got destroyed in the back. Dad, explain what happened to the viewers. Well, there was a lot of water in the boat. It was all five of us in the boat. So the water all went to the front, and it was just sinking pretty much. It seemed like, but it was riding on the wheels the whole time. Yeah, we were much. on the wheels the entire ride. It wasn't floating. And when we were going up the lift hill, the water from the front rolled into the back, the back and got our feet totally drenched. Then it went back down, going down the drop. Yeah. And then at the bottom of the drop, a little further up, all the water, because we went so far down, came up over the side and was like a little bath on it. It was insane. That that was just nuts. If you have enough people, ride this with as many people as you can and you will get totally drenched. It's not worth it. Well, maybe not for you guys, because you were sandwiched, maybe but- not at the end of the day. Yeah, not at the end of the <laughs> yeah. day. That was crazy. We just got off of King Ka in the fog. As you can see when I go over here, you literally cannot see the top at. It's like it doesn't exist. That was super cool. When you get up there, you just cannot see a thing. Really awesome. Dad, wow. what'd you think? That was really good. Really good. Y'all didn't tell me I had the Pringles guy mustache on my head, and I'm, I'm salty about it. <laughs> What did you think, James? It was awesome. Might be my best ride on car. It's yeah, so good. it was really good. It was smooth too. Yeah, I rode back row and then somewhere in the middle. It was that awesome. was actually really good. It was just overall awesome. That's probably gonna be our last ride of the night. We gotta go grab our pictures and get a snack. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys when we're leaving the park. So we are exiting Great Adventure now. It is quite the show getting out of here. But we had a great day um, hanging out with Tom, Jack, and James. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.